All right, we're with Michael Georgia. This, you're gonna bug out when you see everything Michael has here. It's just unbelievable. We're here to pick up a 383, but while we're here, he's gracious enough to show us around, show us what he has. He also has, he sells parts, and he has a trim shop, automotive trim shop too, as I understand. So what do we have here, Michael? He said we got a 64 383. 64 383 HP. It's an AAQA high nickel content block. AAQA is high nickel. Where's the HP we saw? You showed me a minute ago. Right there. Okay, let's see if I'm... Yeah, there's the there we HP, go. and there's the V right there, V383. That's 1964. V383, 1964. All right, that's what we're picking up. <laughs> picking up for me. That's my toy for the day. And it's, he's, he said it's got everything for it, it's complete. And we'll take that back, plan to try to squeeze that into 64 or 65 Plymouth Barracuda. That's the plan anyway. We'll see if it can happen. Mancini is supposed to have one. Mopar Perry says he's done it before and it can be done, so we'll see. Okay. Check out those charges he got. We're gonna check them all out. This, this, it's there's two chargers and a beetle sitting right back here. All right, sir. What you want to show us first? All right, Mr. George is gonna show us around the shop. This is Mr. George here. Okay. I've he, got. What do you have? Tires and wheels. I've got crankshafts. I've got engine blocks, heads, intake manifolds, disc brake conversions. Parts of any kind of sort you could ask for. I got clutch pedal assemblies. Wow. I got exhaust systems. I got heater boxes. I mean, th th this room's just littered with parts all throughout it. Now, this is all Mopar, too, right? Yeah, it's all Mopar. I got 71 Super B back there painted on a rotisserie. I got another 71 Super B painted on a rotisserie with an air grabber hood. Both these cars have got six-pack motors that go with them. They're originally 383 four-speed cars. Wow. Are they for sale? They're for sale. Everything here is for sale. All right, I see engines here. What do we have back there? There's 383s. This is a 400 for that black satellite mm -hmm. sitting out front. There's a 440. There's a 440. I've got steering columns. There's a 340. There's another 340 over there. I've got high performance exhaust manifolds, and that's just a few of them. I got bell housings, big blocks, small blocks. Wow. Here's a whole pile of exhaust manifolds underneath this, <laughs> underneath this car. Wow. Those are what fun. you just called your, what you're, you're looking for, yep. I have them. You got it. I've got it. Right here is a, an E-body Dana 60 rear end. Okay. There's more exhaust manifolds. The Dana rear is for sale? The, everything's for sale. Okay, all right. This is completely restored. I've got all big block exhaust manifolds, big block bell housings, rods. Okay, wow. Pedal assemblies, pedal assemblies. Told you, Jerry, you had it all. Oh, man. Oh, oh, I just stepped out in the backyard. Here's a, here's a dark project car, a 70 dark V8 car with eight and three quarter rear end. Okay, we, don't, we need to talk. <laughs> 73 dark, I mean, 73 Plymouth satellite. Another 70 dark V8 car with eight and three quarter rear end. I like that. You know, I got parts cars. Wow. And everything is Mopar. Everything is Mopar. Hey, we gotta check these all out. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna put them all on video there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Used parts. Uh, this is just stocked everywhere. I stock new sheet metal. I got quarter panels, hoods, doors, fenders. Wow. Bucket seats, seat frames, rear window louvers for the Kudas. 
This is just a bunch of Challenger convertible stuff I've got. All this is rear wing spoilers for the Cudas. There's probably 50 wingtip spoilers in here. I got I got fenders for the 68 to 70, 67 to 70 Coronets. Eight and three quarter rear ends. <laughs> wow. Doors, fenders. So we're looking in this room. Oh man. This is like one of my worst buildings, but in here I've worst. got I've got new steering wheels. I got new tough wheels. I got uh, new hood scoops. Wow. Where are the seats out of? They're for the '65 satellite convertible in the shop. They're just sitting here until we can put them together. Steering column back there. Sheet metal, new sheet metal everywhere. Yeah, I've got mufflers, I got exhaust tips, hangers, dash pads, bucket seats for various years of cars. Wow. Come on, we'll go out here and build okay. the building. Flight Sebring Plus. It's a factory 400 four barrel four speed car. Um, it's a numbers matching car. It's painted the inside and out and under it. Um, it's matched numbers. The engine's built, transmission's built, rear end's built. It just needs to finish put back together. But all the chrome moldings for it, they've all been tapped out and polished. All the chrome work's been done. And inside is just, you know, a lot of new parts that's still going to go to the car. Wow, it's immaculate on the inside too. I've got a, I've got, I've got a real super brand new steering wheel for it. If you look under it, the bottom of the car is painted. It's got a new gas tank in it. It's just covered in dust. We're still sitting in there in the building. And this is just some stuff I stuck in there, but it's all fresh paint. It's just dirty right now. It's better than new. And this one's for sale also. Yes. All right, Michael says everything's for sale. Bring your money, come running. Yes, I want to sell everything. I want to sell everything. And go fishing? No, I want to <laughs> invest in my children's future. There I'm ready go. to buy both my boys a home. And I just, I got so much tonnage of this stuff. I'm just ready to let somebody else enjoy it instead of me hoarding it. There you go. All right, let's see what else he has. Okay, we just walked in. The honey hole. In the, well, there's another honey hole behind me. <laughs> there's another honey hole behind me. Oh man, look at that. Right look right. at this. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> that is just awesome. Tell us about the blue one. The blue Roadrunner is a 70 air driver hooded four speed car. 70 air driver hooded. It's rotisserie painted and it's ready to be assembled. The B5 Blue? It's a B5 Blue. Yeah. It's a factory 383 four speed car. And we're going to put a 446 pack and a four speed in it with the Dana. Look inside, Over here, some rear ends for some of my project cars. This is the Roadrunner rear end right here. This is for one of the yellow Super Bs. And this is for a 65 Bel Belvedere I got on the rotisserie. And I mean, like I say, there's I, there's parts, parts everywhere. Parts everywhere. I've got hordes of parts. I got engines sitting here. What do we have here? This is a 340 for my Shaker Hood four speed Cuda. This is a Stroker 440 with a 4.25 inch stroke crank, H beam rod, stage six race on her heads, M1 intake, um, fluid damper, aluminum water pump and housing, billet MSD distributor. It's for sale also. And the red car? No. It's a little red 7340 dart. It, it is. is. Oh, it is? It's a little 340 automatic car, eight and three quarter disc brakes. It's rotisserie restored. I thought you were keeping that one. Wow. <laughs> this is 67 Cornet. This is a red 67 Cornet RT. It's 444 speed. It is a clone car, but it's got the Hemi Leaf Springs torsion bars. Other than the VIN number, you'd never know it was wow. not a real car. That car is new. That car is brand new inside and out and under it. Awesome, man. It, it, it even smells new. 
it's, it smells new. It's got 200 miles on it. And I restored it about five years ago. And what engine is this one? 444 barrel four speed. 444 barrel four speed. Here's an intake. Wow. And it's, it's got plenty of power and plenty of torque. 200 miles on it. 200 miles. It's power steering, power disc brakes, AM, FM radio, 323 gear. Parts everywhere. I got shaker parts. I got 383 motors, 440 motors, six pack motors. <laughs> this is a, a shaker hood. 71 Cuda. Oh, 71. Yeah, 71 numbers matching car with fender tag and build sheet. <laughs> it needs it needs final assembly, but it's rotisserie, it's rotisserie painted inside and out and under it. That's lots of new parts to go to it also. Where'd you find that one at? I got four speeds of Hemi four speeds. I got 23 splines. I got for A, B, and E body cars. Hemi four speeds, all these. No, not all no, of them. I've no. got probably five Hemi four speeds right. and probably 15, 23 splines. Wow. Cornet RT, it's it's painted like this inside and out and under it. Let me see that and I'll show them some details on it. Okay. Inside the trunk. We can get a real slide. As far as you can look in there, it's painted. This car is painted in every crack. This, this car is brand new inside and out and under it. It's got the Hemi leaf springs, torsion bars. This car's got the mufflers, resonators. I'll let you go on with okay. that. Okay, all right, hold on. How do you want to get the floor for you? <laughs> Let's get inside here. Oh, this is brand new also. Yeah, I've got, I, the only thing I didn't replace was the top plates on that console, which I have them laying in the trunk. They're brand new in the box waiting to go on it. That car is just so Did awesome. you do the upholstery? Yes. Very good. Oh, you did the upholstery yourself? Yes. Well, that's showing how good the whole Yeah, the upholstery is just awesome. It's beautiful. All this stuff is anodized. It ain't painted. It's it's plated. That's some awesome interior work. Tell me a little about your interior work, like what key you use and you can do your own. Yeah. Uh, hold on one second. Let me, let me get this turned off and get repositioned here. We put vintage air on this car. It's power steering, power disc brakes, AC. You can drive down the road and listen to the radio and talk to your wife without being annoyed by obnoxious mufflers. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at the parts down through here. Transmissions, intakes. As far as you can see, parts. Everything looks new, too. No junk. Okay, there's another area up here we're going to walk into right now all right so we're in your trim shop now yeah what do we have here in the red car 65, 65. Boom satellite yep convertible convertible 426 four speed it's also a rotisserie restoration and the bottom is like on the top it's just new It's chilling very doing all the gauges and everything on the dash, the knobs and everything. That I was looking for I wanted to build a deer 65 satellite and a coronet or something. Wow. This is absolutely new. It's beautiful. More engines back here. Yeah, huh? I got three 446 pack motors right there. Those are for the two Super Bs and that 70 Roadrunner downstairs. 
All right, what is this? The GTO is a customer's car. And the only thing I've done on it is uh, the new interior in it. Oh man, you did a super. Oh, that did that interior, is so nice. that interior is so nice. I've done the interior, the dash, the gauges, the wiring, all the knobs, the radio, everything's just restored on this car. Wow. 67 GTO, red on red, four speed car. That dash panel is just unbelievable. Beautiful job. You just you do you do beautiful work. Oh, wow. Very good. Well, there's a difference between lipstick on a pig and absolutely <laughs> restoring a car. And Man. I try to give my customers the best. That is just awesome. What do we have right here? Blue and white. This blue and white is a '56 Imperial, and my buddy painted it. I started working on detailing the engine. I've had motor out, painted it. It's got the 354 Hemi in it. It's been a long time of coming, waiting on the paint guys and cutting and buffing on the sheet metal. And we finally got the fenders and everything lined up and now it's time to start putting it back together. All right, so you said that you do this full-time for a living. Yes, and I don't advertise this. It's just like if I fix this for you, one of your friends or family, or somebody at your car show will come seek me out, and I, I stay more work than I can possibly do. I can understand he why. Does, he does the, puts the glass in. Uh-huh. Oh, he yeah. does this. He puts in the carpet. I guess you do this, Yeah, too. carpet. And just everything. This car everything. was just a shell when it come here. A it shell. Was, he did all of this. Yeah, I know. This is, this, these seats are just... I mean, they're so tight. It's just unbelievable. That your interior work is just unbelievable. Your trim work, the headliner is immaculate in here. I'm totally impressed. It's just. I'm it's, just. I'm picky on what I do. Obviously. And you know, that's I just a, don't like to cut corners. And. Sound like my kind of man. You know, you just try to do it to the best of your ability. Everybody wants the best. You know? Right. And nobody wants a sloppy job and. You know, if, if you don't throw money at it, you get sloppy jobs. You throw money at it, you get perfection. You get beauty. You know, you get something that everybody can admire. This is probably a, a, the nicest. This and car right here, we did not restore this. This man had brought me just a car with no glass, no mm -hmm. interior in it. Yeah. And I just done all the glass and interior and the gauges and the wiring. 67 GTO. All right, so a man comes in, brings the car in, or just brings in a pair of seats. Look at these seats right here. Yeah, we strip them down, and like I say, broke springs. We're going to replace any broken springs. And then we're going to pad them up. And like this is 67 GTX seats. And the bottom of our work is going to look like this. Wow. New. Very good. Wow. How long have you been doing this? Well, all my life. Oh, well, it shows. I started playing with these cars when I was about 11 years old, and it's really all I know. Wow. So this is your some of your trim area back here, I see. Yes. And earlier, inventory. Uh, yeah, that's just vinyls and stuff. I mean, I stock a lot of colors, um, but I make a lot of stuff by hand right here on this sewing machine, and this is kind of where I spend my time. What's the weights for, scuba weights for? The weights are just for setting out on material. Okay. I mean, like I say, I got material colors, I got threads, I got wind lace, I got welt cord, I just, everything to do it properly. If you can't get your seat covers from PUI or Legendary, I can make them. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's cheaper to buy them from them, but because uh, the hours, and I don't have little Chinamen, Working for me, so. <laughs> okay, you know, ever since the pandemic hit, I've had to stay home, couldn't go to no car shows. 
But when we got back from Indiana in March, that's when the pandemic hit. And ever since, I started advertising some stuff, and I've been shipping out, and I've been selling stuff, and it's it's moving. It's okay, moving. so you don't mind shipping at all? No, I'll ship anything. It costs you. I don't have no control of what the shipping costs. Right. But you know, basically, I sell stuff to people. They pay me. I package it up. I carry it down there. I call them. They pay the FedEx people, whatever it is, and boom, on the way. And I send tracking information. All right. I'll so send them a picture of their track, the receipt, showing their tracking. And um, like I said, I've been shipping stuff out left and right. And like I said, I'm at a point in life where I'm ready to move this stuff. I'm ready to sell. And um, like I say, I own by both my boys at home and whatever else is left, I'll just play on that. All right, so we're on these, we're in South Carolina, actually in South Carolina, um, near Anderson, South Carolina. So if you call. Call anytime except for on Sunday. Anytime except for on Sunday. Okay. <laughs> you anytime said. Anytime but Sunday. All right, sir. All right. And everything's for sale, and you have a lot. I noticed there's a lot of other parts and things we haven't seen, other cars oh, we yeah. haven't seen. I've got tons of cars and parts that we haven't, you haven't seen yet. But anyway, just call Michael, 864 934 7370. If you don't get me, leave a message. I will return your call. All right, sir. All I can say is this has been one awesome day. I mean, we've visited two two awesome places, two awesome people, and my mind's just blown away. I just had no idea that there was this much Mopar stuff floating around in, in the world, even in the world. Well, you know, you have to travel to get this stuff, and, I mean, we've traveled, you know, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, Florida, Kentucky, Ohio, and Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. You know, you just... It just keeps going. If you want it, you got to go get it. That's it. It ain't laying in everybody's back door no more. That's for sure. And All right. We appreciate the time. We appreciate the tour. We appreciate the 383 engine, and we're going to pick up some more parts. And I got to look at some of those cars there before we leave, too. All right, <laughs> sir, Michael. George. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. Vern, Russ Queen. Yes. See y'all. All right. Thanks see y'all. All right. Like and subscribe. Thanks. You guys are, they're just hacking on me, folks. That's all it is. They're hacking on me yeah, when I was in, in distress. <laughs> Jerry, when he vomits, he makes a weird noise. It's like a mating call. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, good. You ate some roast queen's pie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh here's our 383 we picked up. We got a 383 <laughs> HP high nickel Beautiful. block. <coughs> and Vern says we have open, I mean closed chamber heads. Oh. Right, Vern? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's take a look. Closed chamber heads. 383. This was a running 383 when he pulled it out of the car. It got a little bit of. Got a what? A little bit of water, I guess, got one of it. Yeah, it looks like a little bit. May have right there. Got steel crank, high nickel. Steel crank, has it? HP 64 block. HP 1964 block. Yeah, All right. I wonder if it came out of a Fury or something. I don't know. Sport said, Fury or something like that. He said, well, he pulled it out of us. Um, what, a Cornet or something? I don't recall. Oh, I don't could know. be a Cornet. Yep. I don't know. Anyway, we've got it. We've got it home. I'm a happy man. Got a 383. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think we can fix this one out here. Take the cylinders out. I'm not going there. <laughs> what if it's so long with that food and yeah, oh, messing with our brains? Yeah. Yeah. We had a good time. We met good people. Yeah. Yes. Michael Georgia and, and Rod. Yeah. I don't remember his last name. Yeah. Rod. He's on the witness protection program. Okay. <laughs> we film I kept calling him Ron, I think. You called him Ron. It was Ron. I thought okay. he was calling him Rodo or something like that. <laughs> He's calling anyway, him Rod, I apologize. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. They didn't correct me. They could have. They should have, but they didn't. We were too busy looking at all the cars there. We got hey. a lot of cars that we liked. Man, I'll tell you, my head is swimming. Yep. It is swimming. When we show you the video, well, actually, we'll do two videos because it'll be yeah. kind of long. Uh, we'll show you the two videos. We had fun today, fun today, and we are in Mopar land for sure. Mm -hmm. Show the fender you got for $25. Oh, yeah, I'll throw that in right quick. That was a cousin's There we go. It's a great, Somebody great needs it. Let us know what year you think that came off of. A little uh, surface rust, but 
It's not even much surface rest there. And that'll fit just fine. I can see that, uh, cut that and make a patch panel on the Barracuda. Yep, cut that off right there. I, I need a little section right there. And I need a section on the lower end. So, huh? Put Osfo on it or take care of it. The Rust Queen says she can put some of that Osfo on it. <laughs> yeah, hey, hear that Bigfoot Mopars? You know, he done bought all that stuff. He said he bought it all. Yeah, he's trying to get her to come up there and scratch rust for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, we got to head up that way. You. We need to take a road you. trip to Canada. There's hey. so many people up there we need to see. I I, that's, that's for sure. We need to go by and see Christine. Christine came out of the woodwork. Yeah, yes. nice. To yeah. See that she's still okay, her and her family. Yeah, we were worried about Christina. Yep. Vern yeah. was going to put her name on milk cartons, and yeah, I was going to yeah. drag out the bloodhounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bloodhounds. See if we can find out where, where she disappeared to, but she's yeah. okay. All right, folks. I had a fun filled day today. It was fun. I it was fun. Vern, I appreciate your help, man. Ain't no problem. Hey, James, how's it going, brother, man? Okay. That's the 80. <laughs> <laughs> 1383 in the shop <laughs> and on the project list. Catch you guys next time.